What's up guys, it's the Gaming News Stuff here, and today I'm going to show you how to edit um, creature text and creature files for Dungeon Keeper Keeper FX expansion mod. So, basically what this does is you can change, set parameters in the game, so you can change the health of a creature, change the gold you get in a level, make it easier or harder, or just completely change up the game. So, First thing we're going to do is go into our Keeper FX folder, wherever that might be. And the first thing we're going to do is change the stats of a creature. So come into the Creatures folder, not full word creatures, but come into here. And here you'll see all the different creatures. So, say for example, we want to edit the avatar. So open up the file as a notepad file or whatever you use as equivalent. I'll shrink it down a bit and you'll see all the different stats here. So as you know, if you've played the game enough, Avatar is the strongest creature in the game. So as you can see, 3000 health. So if you want to make the fight with the Avatar a lot easier, you could drop this down to 300 health. Or if you think he's not challenging enough, chuck it up to 6000 and he's double health. But we'll keep it at 3000 for now. As you can see, this is where I'm editing. Um, there's everything else, strength, armor, dexterity, and whatnot. You can come down, how much they have paid. You can do this with all creatures. Torture time, everything. Entrance room, which is basically what they require to enter the, um, the map. So if I change this down to one layer, get rid of training, and get rid of garden. So it just requires one less space to enter. It's pretty simple. And then what I can do is hit, change heaps of other stuff. Experience, what attacks he gets at what levels, his jobs that he does primarily. So if we just change what attracts him, we can go file, save, and then quit that. And then come over into levels, come down into map 000, Zero 01 and open that up and this is basically the first map in the original Dungeon Keeper levels so as you can see here add creatures to pool let's change fly to avatar and that way we'll then search control F for the word fly and change all of the word fly with avatar so, avatar, find next, change this to, not capitals, avatar, find next, change that to avatar, find next, and that should be all of them. Oh wait, oh wait, it's up here, but that's just, rem means it doesn't actually do anything, it just tells you something. So that is all the fly in this text file. You can also change the money we start off with. So if we want to start off the first level with 10,000 gold, we can do that. And we can set it so that we can have up to six avatars and the max creatures we can have is 15. So then what we can do is file, save that, and then I'll meet you guys in Impossible, in um, Dungeon Keeper, and we'll see if it worked. Guys, I realized one error that we made in the avatar um, file, and that was basically that the avatar won't, we can't get the avatar because the fly is attracted by nothing. So if we set the avatar's entrance room to the, I think it's called the treasury, but I'm going to make sure because I don't want to draw it in by something that isn't, like try and draw it in by something that doesn't exist. So room available, treasure. Okay, so I'll copy that. 
Come back into the avatar notepad. Entrance room. Treasure. Rooms required one. So if I save that now, then we should be able to get the avatar in. So again, I'll catch you guys in uh, Dungeon Keeper. So we're here in Dungeon Keeper now, guys. And I'm going to click Start New Game and Dungeon Keeper Original Campaign. And then Never just click on the smart. first level. And we'll speed through this to see if we get an avatar. At the first level, how good will that be? And as you can see, we got an avatar as the first creature in the game. Okay guys, we're back in the creature folder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play around with the, let's have a look, the fly. So as you guys know, the fly is, actually no, we will play around with the imp because it's even more fun. As you guys know, the imp is probably the weakest creature like in the game, but we can change that up. We can make the imp incredibly overpowered. Now, just be careful because if you're fighting other um, guy, other players, like other dungeon keepers that have the same creatures as you, theirs will also be incredibly overpowered. So if we set the health of an imp to 3,000, the strength to 100, armor to 100, dexterity to 100, Fear to zero. Fear wounded to zero. Fear no flea factor. I think I'm setting that to zero. Defense to a hundred. And luck to a hundred. Now, as you guys can see, if we scroll down a bit further, we can come to... Where is it? Experience. And we can set what abilities they have. So we can set lightning and make it so that they get that at level one. Set their next skill to drain and make it so that, that they get that at level one. This is just to show you guys how to change um, strength and everything and how to change the abilities that each creature gets. I'm just using this as a very overpowered example. And then we can give them freeze at level one and let's think. Um yeah okay that'll do. And then what we can do is set it so that search for the word melee attack preference change that from melee to ranged I believe it's ranged I'll go into the sorcerer and check if it's ranged or range ranged okay good and then as you guys can see we've just edited a lot on the imp if we now save that and i'll see you guys back in dungeon keeper and see if our overpowered imps are there okay guys we're back in dungeon keeper again i'm just going to start a new dungeon keeper original campaign Tabers. and see if our little imps are incredibly overpowered and as you can see attack lightning drain and freeze all on a level one imp if I come into here as you can see his strength now is a hundred his dexterity is a hundred his defense is a hundred so everything's obviously worked and you've now got incredibly overpowered imps if you dropped an enemy in they would destroy it now I'm going to show you guys another example of something helpful or even fun you can do um, in the creature editing files. 
So if you come into Horny here, we can come to his annoyance. And as any of you may know, he gets angry at anything. So you can reduce all of these anger levels to make it so that he hardly gets angry at all or doesn't get angry, which is very helpful for such a powerful creature, but again, makes the game quite a lot easier. You can also set the lair enemy. So if you want Horny's lair enemy to be the avatar and then save that and then come into the avatar and set his lair enemy to be horny. Then, in theory, in the lair, they should be able to fight. I'm gonna go and set that up for you guys. Once I edit horny to make him a bit stronger, we want him to have the same amount of health as the avatar. And I also want him to have freeze, just to buff him up a bit. So I'm going to set that to one. And then also, while we're here, I'll show you guys how to make a creature level up quicker. See down here, levels train values right there. Each of those values is the amount of experience they require to get to the next level. So, if we want them to instantly pretty much get to level 10, we'll change all of these to 1. Because if we change them to 1, it means that they only require 1 experience, which is 1 hit to an enemy, 1 hit in the training room, 1 hit of anything, you know what I mean? So, anything that will give them experience will instantly level them up. So, it saves you money when training and everything. And speaking of money when training, I'll also show you guys how to change how much uh, tr they cost when, um, and, uh, when they, what's it called, train. And also, you can change the experience for hitting. Instead of changing all those, you could change that to like 20,000, which would mean they level up instantly. So, if we search for training cost, there it is, underneath jobs, training cost, you can set that to zero, which will mean that they don't use any money when training. So, it's basically free training, you can have them training for as much as you want, have as many creatures as you want training, and it won't cost you a dime. Or you can set it to more if you think it's underpowered and you want a harder experience. So anyway, once I've, now that I've done that, I'm going to go and set up a scene where basically show that the horny and avatar will fight in the lair. Now, as you guys can see, I have um, the avatar and horny in my hand at the moment. I'm about to drop them both into the lair and see if they fight. Your creatures are becoming angry. Your are fighting you see, themselves. they're now battling in the lair. Since Horny managed to freeze the avatar, he's leveling up instantly. But, he's slowly catching up. And as you can see now, they're both level 10, fighting it out in the lair. The avatar is currently getting destroyed. And now there's another fight going on. Okay guys, that does it for this tutorial on keeper changing the Keeper FX files to play around with the game, have some fun, make it easier, make it harder, etc. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's any other videos or tutorials that you want me to make on either this or anything else, I'll make, make it for you. If I don't know how to do it, I'll learn, and then I'll make it for you if I can. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.